Yeah, so I said my name is Kingsley once again. So I am Nigerian, right? And um, a product designer. I serve as the uh, design maintainer. Yeah, at Chaos, basically just overseeing operations, design operations, and a couple of design related stuff. Also, sometimes also help assign some tasks, right? So, um, can you please introduce yourself, Suzanne? Yeah, uh, so my name is Suzanne. I'm joining in from Nairobi, Kenya. Um, a front end developer, and I also do some UI UX design. And I'm oh, happy to be part of the case community. Welcome, Susan. How is Kenya? How is Nairobi, Kenya? Uh, it's pretty cold right now. Um, since it's July, I I thought the cold would end with the month, but it seems like August is also going to be a cold month. Um. So, how about the um unrest? Is everything settling now? Uh, for this week, um, there have been some incidences. Uh, too, they actually happened yesterday um apart from that there has been a lot of unrest in some areas in the country where people are turning up dead or killed um some were found in sacks um i don't want to go more into that story but yeah that's the current state of our country um as for the protests um i'm pretty sure next week there'll be one since People have not done that much of protests this week, so I hope the next uh, protest um, for next week will be peaceful, yeah. Okay, we hope so too. And um, we also hope that, you know, um, there'll also be, um, of course, the protest to, of course, eventually come to an end, an end so that there will be peace, right? In Kenya, yeah, yeah. I, I know over here in Nigeria, there's just been a whole lot brewing up, but, you know, fingers crossed. Actually, no one's really won this chaos, right? You know, no one yeah. wants anarchy and all that. So we just hope and look forward to our leaders doing the right thing. Hi, Midi. Hello, Mide, are you there? Yeah, so, oh. yeah, so I was just trying to swipe and open the app. I have so many apps open. Okay. Yeah. Please introduce yourself so that um, so, uh, Susan Hello, Susan. Yeah. Sorry about... Oh, okay, Um, my name is Amide. I'm Dogunadi. I'm from Nigeria. Uh, I stay in Lagos, Nigeria. I... Uh... Wait, I'm also from Nigeria. I I'm I'm a product designer by profession, full time. Um, oh yeah, full as that's that's mainly what I do. I I'm currently trying to learn other skills, and uh, yeah, I've I've been with Chaos since um twenty twenty two November. Yes, it's been, you know, it's been an awesome um, ride and it's been fun, and um, uh, it's relatively it's not. The the breeze blowing is cold, but when you go outside, there's some dense places in Lagos. It's actually hot, because so I would I would like to ask um if Susan could pass some of our cold to to us here. I I would not mind because I know how cold it can be in in um in Uganda, that's right, the in, in Bali region and in Bara side. So it it would be nice to have that kind of sort of cold. And yeah, we were also having we're also having our own protest, but they've not set it yet. And yeah, so I think most African countries are just tired of their leaders. And I'm I'm sorry you have to like go through all those same individuals in SAC. That that is really, really messed up. Sorry about that. Yeah, it is. Yes. Uh from that, that 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 is all. 
I'm a relatively simple guy. I don't I don't really have anything else to share. Thank you. Not so simple. It's just being modest, Susan. Hi, Felix. Hi, um, yeah. Good morning. Uh, good morning, yeah. everyone. Is it morning for you, Susan? No, it's actually lunchtime for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. sorry. Good afternoon. Then. Hey, well, what time is lunchtime? Is that um? Uh, one, 1 p.m. One? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's like approximately two hours ahead of uh, us, right? That should be yeah. like one twelve p.m. Okay, so um, <clears throat> Felix didn't mention his name. So um, Felix, so Susan is joining us for the first time, so we just had to introduce ourselves all over and get to meet um Susan. I don't know if you want to do that. Oh, yeah, of course. Um, <laughs> there is not much. So um, I am Felix anymore. So um, from Lagos, from Nigeria, so I reside in Lagos, right? Uh, I'm a product designer uh, full time, <laughs> according to I am a day. So um, I've been with Chaos for to be, to be up to two years now or going to. So yes, yeah. So that's just great. Nice to meet you. Um, Susan. Thank you so much, Felix. Um for yeah. So um <laughs> Susan, I think that was meant for you anyway. <laughs> so okay, uh thank you everyone and um yeah for showing up right and um okay just a, a, a brief background um how did you get to know about um chaos uh susan i learned about chaos from um initially um there's a an event i attended a women in tech event so there's someone from Chaos community who advised us to join. Then, funny enough, afterwards, um, I was in the All in Africa program, and they also they had a section on their content where we we're supposed to join the Chaos community and connect with other people oh. in the tech space. Yeah, oh, so that's, that's how nice. I joined Chaos. Wow, nice. <laughs> I can relate to uh, all in Africa. Okay. Um. Welcome. So, um, like I don't know if you've also contributed to Open Chairs before, right? So, um, you would consider Open Source like um similar to maybe your regular job in some ways, right? For um only that year in right year in careers or maybe any similar open source project you, you most likely just like giving in your time to contributing to something somewhat bigger than you know you right and having to work with amazing people right contributing to projects um oftentimes at your own pace right so it's not like um um it's it's not like you've been rushed to do it. So except it, it, of course, if there's a timeline for something, it's also been communicated, right? And I always like saying to that sometimes when you join the community, um, you may not really see conversations really buzzing in the channel as expected. I would want to assume that you're on the Slack um channel, um, the design Slack channel too, so. Conversations may not really be buzzing as expected. Like, except if you want to initiate or drive that, definitely people, you know, jump in, respond. But it's really about 
possible getting to understand the project, maybe taking out some time to let me pull up a page on um Kira's website. Also, I don't know if you actually took out time to go through the Kira's website, right? Getting to understand the project first, right? What exactly the project seeks to achieve, right? And um what were you doing? Um, I'm just gonna share a link right now. So it gives you an idea of um the project we have ongoing and um the projects partners and all that and um you can also check the home page too. So about us also has um these other uh, list of items. We have code of conduct and a couple of other stuff there. So you can check check it out, right? And um the cool stuff too is that you have front end and product design skill, right? So this is a design working group, right? If you want to be actively involved in front end development, yeah, there's also a front end working group, right? So and then on on Thursdays bi weekly we do have um KS Africa community call. Um and next one is coming up next week. All right. So you can also join to learn more about uh, the KS Africa, um, uh, which is sort of like a subset of um Chaos Global, right? So everything we're doing is just driving towards um DEI health, open source sustainability. All right. So thank you so much for joining. And um, as of this moment, we have a couple of projects. We have the DEI right, project, which is live, you know, a couple of projects being batch, right? We also have Ogo project, right, which is um, still being designed. Um, let me see. So when you go through the link I shared with you, you see a part in that store that talks about all go. So good enough you're a front end person. So you might also be able to relate to it all go. Um it's a tool that helps uh, maintain our open source maintainer, right? Track, you know, metrics from certain metrics and data from GitHub. Right. So let's say tracking contributions on of people just joining the project. On GitHub, like Ogo is actually such a great tool. And um the platform is actually live, but we are working on you know improving on the experience, overall experience. Let me see if I can pull that up. Uh, maybe I have access to I'm not sure. Can I really okay. Yeah. Metrics.ks.io. So when you check out um the link I just had shared the last one, you get to understand and appreciate um what we are doing, right? So everything around chaos is community health analytics open source software. So everything we're doing is just around um DEI, right? Diversity, equity, and inclusion, right? Sustainability of open source, right? So. So when you check out this reflects in the project you're doing and each and every one of you, your skill, right, can be applied to different aspects of the project. So you don't necessarily have to contribute to as a product designer if you don't want to or if you think your strength is in front end or if you feel, oh, my strength is in product design or if you just want to do both, right, it's actually yeah. open. Yeah, it's it's a free space. Um, for me, I consider, in fact, for every creative, right? Um, my career has always really been around. You know, sometimes really, I, I don't really limit myself to paid gigs or projects. So I really find um, like I really derive a lot of joy in creating things, right? And um, and sometimes I just create things. And 
Um, especially also when I'm experiencing this burnout, one of the things that, that helps me get back on track is just I suspend every other paid related stuff and just just create, just do what I feel like. It could be make illustrations, it could be just do anything I want to do, right? I I I think that's the beauty of creative work, right? It just allows you to just zoom in into you know that world where you just think of something as I'm working on. Right, so open source is just so flexible and gives you that time to explore every other skills you have and might also want to use, right? Um, and put to use rather. So I don't know if you have questions. Um, if you have questions, you can ask, right? Maybe, maybe about the project I've shared or maybe about chaos. Oh, yeah, uh, I have some questions. So I've never contributed to like a design open source project. And I think last week I saw there's a, there's a new issue that was put on the chaos design community where you're like supposed to create a background image for the chaos community calls. So my question on that was, do I, do I have to fork the repository to make my contribution or how does okay. it work with, yeah. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for the question. I understand that perfectly because someone with the front end stuff. Okay, so um, design contribution is somewhat different from, you know, technical contributions. Right. Of course, if it's um, a technical one, you have to fork the repository and then, you know, make your changes and then make your PR, right? Yeah. And then it's been reviewed, merged and all that. But design is quite different because um, GitHub, unlike development, GitHub doesn't have like an in-app design uh, tool sort of if I should use that right that make you contribute you know in GitHub right so you always have to fall back to your regular design tools right so if you're using the Adobe Suits or you're using Figma right so you have to I I remember the tax you you just mentioned posted by Peculiar so I she asked for um a background for the chaos um chaos video thing we're doing this couple of recordings and stuff so she asked for this background so usually when you see tasks like that um, one of the first thing you do is um if it's posted immediately you can sort of like comment and also be clear that oh maybe this hasn't been assigned to someone or um someone else hasn't picked it up right so um you can just drop a comment like oh i'm interested in working on this like you know it, it just generally just drop a comment it doesn't have to i be, i know i mentioned that in some cases i assign tags so but you don't have to wait this is open source right my role is just like just overseeing things it doesn't mean that um i have to be here for you to do any thing so i know a couple of times elizabeth will drop stuff on the design channel right if you are free right yeah. and you know that oh this is something i can handle you just drop a comment so when you do that the next thing to do sometimes um the person that posted may not be online to reply immediately but since you've indicated interest it means every other person on the channel probably seen oh this person is up for it so whether the person I posted response or not, someone, maybe someone else that I wanted to most likely indicate interest for that project, if you like, okay, Susan is on it already. So once you've indicated interest, the next thing to do is, um, you know what, of course, is being asked. In some cases, what you need for that design has been shared. If it hasn't been shared, then if you need further clarification, you can ask that question, be it on Slack or on GitHub if that project was open as an issue on GitHub, then um, you now jump on your, okay, if it's also something that needs um, the design assets, right? 
you check the pin, one of the pin messages on our Slack channel, design Slack channel, you see a drive, take it to a drive link where you can pick up like Chaos logo and all that basically to work with. So then the next thing is just jumping on your favorite tool, the one you use to make your designs. If you use Illustrator, Photoshop, or any of these vector graphics tool, right? And um, or if it's UI, if you're using Figma, cool. If you're using pen pots, fine. You know, as long as you're able to, that emph emphasis on. Though we have a general workspace, I think I have to check that because it seems to have been locked by Figma because it was on the free version. So we have a general workspace, but if you are not using the general workspace, you have to make the link you're using on Figma accessible. That's the idea of open source, right? That if you worked on something and um, maybe you're not around, right? And uh, you are not available and anybody, any person on the community can, any other designer, you know, Midi, Felix, anybody can jump on what you've done, right? And continue working, improving it, right? So it's not just like to you, even if I'm not in the picture anymore, um, chaos will still continue, things will still happen, right? And it doesn't have to be about me. So that's the beauty of open source, right? It's always about the community. It's always about the networking, right? So see this as an opportunity to network with people, meet people. Like, I'm so excited to meet you. You're from Kenya, right? And I know I've worked with people like um, Catherine, you know, from Kenya to met like like james you know i think james too is also from kenya he's also a designer all right so oh Kenya, yeah james is kenya and so i've met you like in north Korea, uganda you know so that's the beauty of open source right so i don't know if i answered your question so no you're not fucking the repository rather you just make a comment confirm on the design need and request and then use any of your favorite tool to make the design and then lastly, once you're done with the design, you can share either on the channel or share it directly or get up to like just tagging the person that made the design request. Okay. Yeah, you okay. answered my question. Okay. Do you have another question? Yeah. Um... I'm not sure if this was a request to make a contribution, but I also saw another message. I can't recall which chaos channel it was, but it was a request to like um, go through the community guidelines or something of the sort and suggest, make some suggestions and some edits to the places you think that there yeah, are some errors. So how does someone go about that? Okay, so I'm not sure I know about that, but then um, that's also like an example of a non-code contribution, right? Okay. So um, okay. it's just like we have in the design working group, we have this document to pin to Slack where you can read about some of the ongoing projects and also read about um, chaos. So the way it works when it comes to documentation like that is if um, as long as you've come to understand the project well, and then you feel like, okay, this document doesn't perfectly represent chaos, right, as a community, and um, maybe there are some things that were not mentioned, right, or so this document isn't really, didn't really paint a picture of inclusivity, right, which is also one of the core values they at chaos. Right, so what you just do is like you go over, make your edit su suggestions, right? Since it's a document, you have a couple of persons, so you can either make a direct edit or in a case, maybe not copy it too, or copy, make a new copy rather, and make your edit update and then share it with um, the maintainer of that working group, 
right? Uh, because I think I, I think that should be technical writing, uh, technical writers working group thing. And um, if you want to work on that, uh, let me send you a name you might want to reach out to um, on Slack. So um, there is Harmony on Slack. Let's see if I can pull. So just message uh, Harmony on Slack. Okay. Yeah. So I think you should know more about that tax. All right. So we, I think is the maintainer or possibly it, it uh, really involved in um, technical writing. Yeah. Okay. So hi, Joshua. Um, Susan, do you have another question? Sorry. I know. That's all okay. from me. Okay, fine. That's cool. Um, hi, thank you, Joshua. Okay, I'm not sure Joshua can hear us. Are you there, please? Okay, fine. Um, thank you. Nice joining us, Joshua. You're welcome. So, Mide and uh, Felix, I don't know. Uh, I I saw a couple of activities and I saw some notifications, right? I think in the course of last week or towards the end of last week. I can't even remember specifically. Um, so, what's up? What's, what's been happening? What's the work been going on? Um, uh, the the um, style guide and design system we talked about adding the um, ad adding the style guide as you created to variables. So um, basically, I I just I did that quickly, and also I I detached the previous design system. I I did not delete them. I just uh, I found a way to detach them, detach them like not up with them. Uh, let's say switch them, switch the variables off, so it's not affect so it's not be it will not be too clunky and you in um, anyone working on the project will not be seeing too many design systems and too many um variations of of colors of color style guides so basically that's that's what i did i just i added everything and then i created a style a documented style guide of that that you created oh sorry of the of the, of the colors the color styles you created so that, that was basically what I did. And another thing which I, I haven't gotten to do yet is add the design designs that are meant to be that are meant to be ready for implementation. Uh, I'm going to add that today. So um that's basically everything for moment. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Midi. Um so please um yeah, um nice work you've done, Alex. So when you're free, please just help me push the ones um you've done because yeah, you've the ones you've done to um be ready for implementation. I'll be having a call, hopefully uh, maybe next week or sometime this week with um Catherine. So we just close out um we close out this thing. What is it called again? The Air Force project, at least from design. And right, really want to close that out. I think the only thing pending, which I have actually assigned it to like two persons already, but I haven't gotten feedback. So, anybody on this call that wants to jump on that score, I think the only thing we need right now is a form. So, we agree that, um, so just for the uh, sake of um, our new, um, members right so our first project is a platform that allows uh, chaos right spotlight open source project in africa right so you just get to know about this project so it's just a simple platform and um we design it such that users can submit their projects, right? So for example, Susan is a project maintainer, she can come and 
kuj so mic, um, share projects on the platform. But when you submit your project, the project has to be reviewed and then being approved. So when you submit your project, um, the, that brings the whole idea of the form, right? So you need you have to fill a form, your project name, project, just demographics, you know, and all that. And then um, it's going to create a PR, right, and keep up. And then um, the... Apple's admin will review and merge that PR. Um, that was what the backend guy, you know, um, Desmond suggested that we go that route instead of using a database. You know, we never can tell, you know, how large, you know, the stuff will grow, but maybe, maybe stuff like MongoDB could work. Or I think we're just sitting out on the database stuff and using GitHub for now. So, once we are uh, once that is done, yeah, once the PR is being reviewed and merged, then you see the project live. So uh for now, what we need is our form. That's the only thing I, I, I guess left. You know, we need that form to be ready so we can add it and then also push it to ready for implementation. So anybody that is willing to work on that can sync with um um midday or felix both of them are really like the brain behind apples you know just getting things working so it's sync with both of them on the call so you can message them after this have a conversation right so um i think that's about it um then i still get to speak to lami sometime lami is <laughs> pushing or go you know so I think we spoke and I know that there's still a couple of work around that, but um, if um, any of our calls, I'm able to get on the call, maybe I'll kind of like also get her to walk us through some of the areas she need help as of this moment. So yes. Um, That's it, and I don't know. Um, I don't know. Does anybody have any question? You know, anything you want to share right now? Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Yeah, good morning, Joshua. Yeah, so it's nice to be here. I would say that I've just been my first meeting. I joined Chaos, I think, some months back, if I'm not mistaken, probably around May. And I've just been looking for to join a design community. So basically, that's when I stumbled on Chaos. And so far, I tried to contribute, but I haven't been so consistent. I've been that I had some issues with my gadgets. So I just got new ones and like go back on my feet again. So I would like to like I logged back into the Slack and I saw there been some development. The last time I was there, I assisted with the postcard design, I think. So I don't know oh, what development. I think I remember. Yeah. So I would just like to I like to be an active participant. Like whatever is going on, I want to be carried on, like being loop. So I heard you talking about the design system and other stuff because I think sometimes I spoke with George after I did a postcard saying that okay, there is um there's no guideline like brand guideline for chaos. I was when I was working on a postcard, I happened to like um remodel some of the assets I used, like the logo and all of those stuff because they weren't provided. And he said he would take it up, like talk about it. If I'm not mistaken, I think you are Kingsley, you're the one who responded on some of the chats to I'm not sure because I see a journey with the community hosts. Like that's the idea I'm saying. So I just want to like, I would like to be an active participant and I would appreciate if um, I can be carried along in some of the developments as regarding chaos. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Joshua. Yeah, I recall perfectly um about the the postcard stuff for chaos cast 
And yes, yeah, it's Kingsley. Yeah. So my name is Kingsley. Um the maintainer. Okay. Nice All right. to meet you, yeah. Yeah, nice to meet you too, Joshua. Um, so I think that was my first time getting to but it was really cool and um it's sort of like what I encourage. I did mention that, you know, earlier, yeah, on the call that um Oftentimes, I'm just going to address some of the stuff you've talked about, but I just want to commend the efforts, you know, even as a new contributor, you know, when a tax, you know, request was made on the channel, you know, just jumping in and indicating interest to work on, which is cool because um, people, a lot of contributors, you know, are much more inclined to um, or this stuff has to be assigned, except there's someone working on it. For instance, you know, like you're working on this stuff and then you've sent in a couple of entries. I know I only kind of like followed up. If you check the conversations, right, you notice that I think after a while, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. this person um, was asking, I think needed. So I just had to come in and follow up. Because yeah, I, I think definitely. that was because there was a lapse in communication. I That was the period I had to use my gadget. So oh, I was yeah. just able to like ramp up on it. And I was I, I was happy that I was able to step in promptly too. Yeah. So that's that's just what open source is, right? And and the fact that, you know, um once this person is not available, right? It doesn't revolve around Joshua, it doesn't revolve around me, right? Someone else can step in, right? And that also brings about the idea of always making your this thing accessible, you know, and all that. The initially, like you said, everything about that work, just a whole lot of um communication issues around it because in fact, when I first jumped in, I was thinking, you know, from what I got, I was thinking uh, maybe uh, Gog wasn't okay with the design or something. and But then it was actually a minor, uh, I think, copyright stuff that he needed, you know, to be yes, added exactly. exactly the way. Yeah, so it was after a lot of this thing that I was able to, I was like, damn, why did I even have to stress myself to do this? So I think it was... Um, um, like a, a communication stop issue. Yeah, he wanted me to make it. I think, like, like give him some some sort of license so that there wouldn't be anything yeah. like copyright yeah. infringement or of any sort. So that was it. The work was already done. Yeah. So he just wanted yeah. me to like make changes to the document within the zip file I sent, and you already did that. Yeah. So um. So so another thing I want to talk about is the. Yes, the Chaos brand style, right, right. So um, I, two years ago, I joined Chaos the same way you did. And then there was, of course, when I joined, um, we had logo and everything. There was a basic brand asset and all that we were done. And um, yeah, we've worked on a couple of, you know, product design related projects and, um, I've actually constantly brought this up over time, looking at, you know, in fact, particularly this year, you know, looking at how to create a robust um, brand style guide that covers not just, I, I know I've got some so interesting illustration, you know, imagery, um, you know, colors, you know, just having this different stuff. There have been a lot of these requests coming, coming in and, um, um design requests you know and then you know it's just a community and people just jump on and just fix stuff but i'm really looking at us creating a robust style system right that's you know guides our design process and stuff and i'm also happy because i know that <laughs> as of this moment we just have a lot of product designers right so yeah and, to um, chime in on that you might want to consider me a brand designer but while i started i started off as a brand designer i did just a basic introduction about myself i started off as a brand designer logo to be precise then over the years i transitioned into product so while i still effectively contribute into in the ui ux space i still have my background in branding so i feel just to make things clear in that area i merged the two together and i do a little bit of motion too oh nice 
Thanks. So I think we have a couple of stuff in, in common. So um okay, what we're gonna do is um I, I think we're still gonna sync and then um we also still open to ideas, right? As of this moment right now, um I am just rethinking Figma. I know designers hate hearing this, but you know, because I don't really think paying for Figma premium is really going to be sustainable. And we're having these issues, right? So I am still considering pen pots, right? I don't sorry, know. Sorry, let me, was... let me chime in to there. You might not need to pay. If okay. all of us can go the route of Figma education, we yeah, have all the I, assets I, for two years. And yeah, I've been it, I've been on Figma education myself, and because I was the one that created that space, and my education this thing was like four years ago, <laughs> and Figma just had me to upgrade all my this thing. <laughs> um, I think my okay. education plan basically just expired. Wow, well, if it's right. something that you don't mind, because paying for Figma, I mean, if the community can body the costs, that's no problem. But if they still want to cut down costs and all of that stuff. We could just everyone could just like set up an email with the student, I mean Figma education um plan and be all getting sync on the board and would have access to everything like full access. So that could still work. If you have like another email that you've not used for Figma, you could register that with Figma and get access to the edu. Okay. Um maybe that would be an option to try. Um, we will see about that. I know this is in a way, you know, the obsession with designers, quick ones. <laughs> but let me still share this tool, right? Um, it's open source, right? Fine ports, just in case. I might just want to look it out and stuff. It's basically just Figma but open source, right? So, okay. but then, uh, Figma is Figma because. That's <laughs> because it's sick but it's special so okay guys i wouldn't want to keep us for too long anymore but uh this really been an interesting conversation right reason also being that not just that we have like two new guys you know uh, uh, let me just use the word new but just has been around for a while um two new guys joining in and you know our community is growing and it actually do give me a lot of joy that more people joining in and you know so open source is um also want to re-emphasize that like most times the way it is is that most of these things most of the things you see okay just like you Okay, for example, you've been on the Slack channel and then you notice that not like a lot of conversations, you know, actively going on, like, you know, but sometimes you can be the one driving those conversations, right? You can just bring up stuff and driving those conversations one. And secondly, is that most of the things, um, most of those ideas, right? You think when you join a project, first is like understanding the project, and the second stage is like looking for ideas that will make the project better, right? And sometimes it's just something within your own skill. And even if it's something that you can achieve, right? You don't have the skills to accomplish them, but you, you strongly believe that this is gonna make the project better. So you communicate those ideas. The way I put it is that as a product designer, you mm -hmm. know, you after designing a project and then hand off your stuff to the developers and since you're on the same team when the developers you know work on the project and then there are bugs on the app you know you run usability tests and then you see the bugs it doesn't necessarily mean that you are the one that will fix the bugs as the product designer so i you don't have to ignore them because those bugs right mean something is broken and users can you know interact with the project with the app seamlessly if it's an app you're building so what you do is you report the box to the developer and they fix it but if someone ignores that it gets out and then you have this issue so that's how open source works sometimes you identify an issue it does not necessarily mean that you're the one solving that issue that's also a way of contributing to the project understand um and um so the ideas around it tons of design ideas we can do even i've thought about motion too and all that 
partly to also good thing is that chaos is a project driven um um open source community right we have products going on uh, ongoing uh product development and we also have some live products and all that some of these products you know are huge for the community just imagine like you have a million plus projects on github and then and most of these projects are not even aware of a di project badging and events badging platform you know so a lot of work design work can be done in terms of you know visualization design you know to better communicate you know you know either the benefits of this to the, the different open source project, you know, and just a whole lot around even helping the social media team, you know, with their work on open source education on, on X, right? So there's so much to do. And um, I really want us to, first of all, consider ourselves as creative, you know, problem solvers, you know, bringing in those ideas, right? Bringing in those ideas and then, share them with me and share them on the channel. We can look at it together and see a way to make project, this project much better than what it is right now. So um, I don't know if we have any concerns and stuff, but you can message me on Slack if you have personal questions, right? If it's a general question, you can ask it on the general channel so that anybody or I can reply and every other person can benefit from it. But if it's personal questions or personal ideas you want to share, you can hit me up on Slack, you know, if I don't reply, I'm still going to reply. Yeah, so um, that's the much from me for today. And um, it's really been cool, you know, meeting some new persons. Not talking to me down, Felix. <laughs> so, guys, I don't know. Anybody want to say something? Yeah. Um. Hi, uh, Mide. Please, can you help me check your Slack messages? I drop you some, some chats. However. All right. I'm checking them now. So I think in the absence of uh of that this thing so susan rb just like so i guess you're nigerian yes so I are am. you okay i am a nigerian okay okay so susan from nairobi kenya just a nigerian susan is front end and product designer right felix is nigerian Mindy nigerian and me too your host for today i'm <laughs> nigerian too it's nice but to meet everyone. Yeah, nice to meet you all. You all are amazing. And um, I, you do enjoy the rest of your week and the rest of your day. Please, let's stay safe. We know there's just a whole lot of unrest across Africa at so this moment. Okay. So please, let's just stay safe out there, you know, and be our brother's keeper. <laughs> Cheers and all the best. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.